Hello people, this is Self Turks and in this video we will learn the important concept in Python and that is what underscore underscore name underscore underscore equal to equal to underscore underscore main underscore underscore. So if you have written some programs in Python or if you have uh, gone through code of some other developers or if you have gone through some libraries then this particular line must have been encountered by you which means you must have seen this line and you must be thinking that what does this line do what is the significance of this line so we'll see what does this line do and what is the significance of this line so I'll go to my terminal and here I am inside my tutorials folder and inside tutorial folder it is empty now so I'll create a new app so I'll say mkdir app okay so I'll create an app and inside I'll go inside that particular folder app and first thing what I'm going to do I am going to design a calculator app so I'll give you a simple demo here so I'll say what calc.py so inside calc.py the first thing that I need to write is a print statement the print statement will give what underscore underscore name so I'm just printing this variable so I don't know where from where this variable is coming but you will come to know in few seconds so I'll open my another terminal here and what I'll do I'll run this file python calc.py so I'm running this file directly with the python interpreter so the print statement is what underscore underscore mean underscore underscore so internally python sets the value of this variable as underscore underscore main underscore underscore now the thing i'm going to tell you is the most important thing every file in a python is a module so if you write any file in python then that is considered as a module and every module has a variable which is called underscore underscore name underscore underscore which means every every module in python contains this variable by default so the python interpreter by default gives this name or the python language by default gives this particular variable underscore underscore name underscore underscore so this you have to keep in mind now when we are running a particular file by python interpreter directly then the name of this variable or the value of this variable will be set to underscore underscore mean underscore underscore so you need to keep in mind that if I am running the file directly with the python interpreter then the value of this variable which comes by itself that is it is present inside a module underscore underscore name underscore underscore will be set to underscore underscore mean underscore underscore so I think you have understood this now we'll try to create a class here and we'll say the name of the class as calc and the calc class will have a constructor so the name of the constructor is what in it because in python we write constructor with in it and we accept this particular class accepts two variable a and b so i'll say self dot a equal to a and self dot b equal to b so the value of variable a is set to a and value of variable b is set to b now this file is complete for now i'll create another file which will, which will be my main file the app.py which will import this particular calculator.py and it will work on it so what this will do will create a new app.py and inside app.py will try to do what from calc import what calc calc class so i'm importing this particular calc class from my calc module so this has been imported now this is done for now and this time i'll print what you can see on the right side this time i'll print the file app.py so let's see the magic so you now you have seen python app.py i'm running i'm importing the module calc and inside calc if i'll show you if i'll show you the calc file so the calc file contains what calc.py so the calc file contains its print underscore underscore name underscore underscore so this is my app.py file this is importing this calc file and this time when i'm running app.py the underscore underscore name underscore underscore gives me the value of calc so you need to keep in mind that if the file is getting imported somewhere it is not being run it is not been being run by the python interpreter directly then the value of this variable that is underscore underscore name under as underscore underscore will be set to the name of that module and the name of that module is equal to the file name so that is calc.py so here it is calc but if you are running it directly then the value will be set to underscore underscore main underscore underscore now we'll see the usefulness of this particular uh, uh, 
uh, statement that what it does so i'll exit this terminal and i'll come here so from calc import calc this file is done i don't need to do anything in this so i'll open my calc file and i'll say what open calc.py now suppose there is a calculator function and we need to do some testing this is a calculator class and we need to do some testing so what i'll do i'll write if underscore underscore name equal to equal to what the value when it will be run directly by python interpreter so i will say what i'll give a print statement i'll give print statement and i'll say do your testing here so i'll save this file and i'll come on my right side and this time i'll run what python calc.py so now this time you can say do your testing here but if i'll run python app.py which is importing this particular file calc.py then this line will not uh, this line will not get printed because this particular statement will not run because if i'm importing the file this calc file somewhere and i'm running that file then the underscore underscore name underscore underscore will be the value will get a value of the uh, module and when we are running this python app.py then the value of underscore underscore name underscore underscore will be equal to what calc because the name of the file is calc so this will not run so this particular part that is this particular uh, block of statement is used by python developer to do their testing so we can create a, a new object of uh, this particular class object calc equal to we can create calc and then we'll pass some variable like 5 comma 4 and then we can call we can write here new add add function subtract function delete function we'll pass this and we can do the assertion here so we'll run the file directly here and we we can check that is are those functions working fine or not so this can be used to do unit testing so unit testing can be done here that is you are testing the functions you are testing the Mm, classes which are present inside that file only so you can do unit testing by this particular thing and if you are importing this file then this statement will not get run and you will be saved so i think this is all for this video you have understood the uh, concept of underscore underscore name underscore underscore equal to underscore underscore main underscore underscore hope you like this video if you like my channel please subscribe to it and Please share these videos with other developers and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.